We do a big story locally. Stevenson County Sheriff Stephen Stovall publicly denounced an anti-government organization, the Oath Keepers, after an investigation into his chief deputy's involvement with the group. Sheriff Stovall says in part that those allegations about Chief Deputy Andrew Schroeder are, quote, false and lacking in true facts. Members of the Oath Keepers were involved in the attack on the U.S. Capitol in 2021 with several members pleading guilty to federal charges. When it comes to the investigation into Schroeder, Stovall says he did his own investigation more than a year ago after Schroeder himself told Stovall that a Chicago area reporter was looking into his involvement with the group. Stovall says Schroeder joined the group in 2010, but under the guise that it was meant for law enforcement and military members to connect with one another. Additionally, Stovall says that he joined in 2010 by request of an Illinois Army National Guard member. Stovall says after one year, Schroeder changed his email address and had no contact with the organization. Additionally, he says Schroeder never attended any meetings and did not knowingly have contact with any members. Now, despite the allegations and the fact that Schroeder did indeed join the Oath Keepers in 2010, the Stevenson County Sheriff says no disciplinary action will be taken. Nothing uh, in his background that says he ever went to a meeting, um, he ever acted any in any way with this group. Um, it was basically filled out his name, it sat dormant, he changed it, never had any uh, acts that, that went with this uh, group, and he does not uh, have the idol idolization uh, that this group does. It doesn't stand by any of their values. One Stevenson County board member still is apprehensive about Schroeder's involvement. You know, I know that Andy is the vice chairman of the Republican Party Central Committee here in Stevenson County. He's a retired Freeport police officer, and he's our second in command. Uh, I don't, I just, how could this not be disconcerting? Hart also adds he's looking for more information as to whether other city or county leaders could have supported the Oath Keepers.